This video will show you how to easily create and email an invoice. We will also show you how to set up your invoices to include a partial amount rather than the full amount so you can invoice your customers in stages. First, open the New menu and click Invoice. Select a customer from the drop down menu. If you don't see your customer's name, click Add New and fill out their relevant details. For this example, however, we are going to invoice an existing customer. QuickBooks automatically fills in the email, billing address, and terms. If you'd like to email the invoice to multiple addresses, enter additional email addresses separated by commas here. New invoices should use today's date, but you can change the date if you're recording something that happened in the past. QuickBooks uses terms to calculate how many days a customer has to pay the invoice. We assigned terms of net 30 to this customer. QuickBooks automatically does this math and enters the due date here, but you can click the drop-down arrow to select a different payment term. Record what you're charging your customer for in this section. First, enter the product or service. This is a list of what your business sells to customers or charges them for. If you don't see what you're looking for, click Add New. Select the product or service. You can leave this blank or change the description. Enter the amount you're charging your customer here, then scroll down to see the rest of the invoice. You can even enter a custom message to your customer, such as payment details like your account number and BSB. And if you issue statements to your customer listing charges, payments and credits, you can enter a unique message here. Whatever you enter will also show up on the statement you eventually send to the customer. You can attach documents or even pictures on your invoices. You can even send the attachment along to your customer when this checkbox is selected. So if you're at the customer's site and you did a beautiful job for them, just snap a photo and attach it to the invoice. Click Print or Preview to print the invoice or mark it to be printed later and click Customize to change the appearance of your printed or emailed invoices. Click Save and Send to record the invoice and email it to your customer. You also have other options to send the invoice, including via WhatsApp. Now we are ready to send the invoice to our customer. QuickBooks lets you edit the email to your customer on this side of the screen and you can see a preview of the invoice you're sending on the right. It's time to save and send the invoice. Easy! But what if you only want to send an invoice for a partial amount of a job? One great feature available in QuickBooks Online is the ability to create progress invoices. To do this, from the dashboard, click on the gear icon and select Account and Settings. From here, click on the Sales tab and move down to Progress Invoicing, which is automatically set to On. By clicking on the Edit button on the right, you have the option to tick the checkbox on and off for progress invoicing. Time to see this in action. From the dashboard, click on Sales. A list of quotes and invoices will appear. For this example, we will select the existing quote and then select Create Invoice. A pop-up window will appear with three options. To include the total of all line quotes, to invoice a certain percentage of the total quoted amount, or to create a custom amount from each line. For this example, let's select 50% of the total quoted amount. Now you can see the invoice total is only for half the quoted amount, with a note under the due column stating the full amount. It would be handy to add in a message on the invoice with details on when the final 50% of the project will be invoiced. But what if it's not a percentage of the full amount you require? Perhaps it's a more specific amount to cover your initial costs. To make this change, simply click on the line item and from the drop-down where percent is listed, click this and change to amount. Now you can add your own figure and you will notice the description under Due references the total amount. From here, you can go Save and Send to send it to your customer. The quote will have the remaining balance that stays open, for which you can invoice later. That's it, now it's your turn. Easily create and send an invoice to your customer whether that be the full amount or a partial amount. Now, get started.